In the previous video, we have created our setup for this tutorial. And in this video, we are going to start creating some scripts. First, we are going to reuse what we have currently. So our grid, which is a graph, and we are going to try to make our agent walk through the path found by our a star algorithm that is already implemented in the grid search class. And we are going to see what are the limitations or of having only one general graph structure for our map and how we can fix it. So first, let's start with creating an AI agent class. So in the scripts folder, let's create a new folder. Let's call it AI. Okay, and inside this folder, let's right click, create, and let's create a new C-sharp script. Let's call it AI agent. Let's open it up in Visual Studio. Okay, great. Now what we can do is delete the code from this script since we will not need it. And what we could do is place this in the namespace. So let's type namespace simple city.ai just to split it from the rest of the code. Of course, I should probably add namespaces to the other uh, classes of our code so we can split them into a separate context. But this is a good practice, so let's start from doing it from this class. And we have our AI agent that is extending the mono behavior. We will place this script on our agents that will actually perform the movement. So what we are going to create here is first of all public event action alt enter using system. So we are going to add the library system at the top and we are going to use the delegates we are going to call it on death. So in case our agent dies, we may want to perform some action. So we are going to have this. We are going to use it later in the tutorial. Next, we will need an animator. So let's type animator. Since we want to trigger our walk animation. Uh, let's call it animator. Great. Next, we will have a public float speed of our agent let's set it for now to point to f and we are going to have public load rotation speed for our agent let's set it to be 10 for now next we are going to create some parameters for the movement so a list of vector threes and this will be our path to go equals new list of vector threes okay next what we will need to do is a bull flag bull move flag let's set it to be false since we do not want to start moving unless we have our path initialized next we are going to create int index equals zero this will store the index of the position of our path that we are going to travel towards next we are going to create a vector three Let's call it end position. Okay, with all those parameters, let's create public void initialize. And we are going to pass here a list of vector threes. Let's call it path. Let's capitalize the name. Uh, this will be the method that will initialize our agent. Since our script will be on the prefabs of our agents, and then we will need to initialize it to make it start moving so what we are going to do here is call path to go equals our path so we will save the path next our index equals one so we are going to set the index as the first position move flag equals true okay now what we will need to do is call end position equals our path to go with the index of index since our index uh, we have increased to one here so zero is the starting position one will be the end position and we will move from the current position of our agent so we are going to spawn our agent at the index zero we are going to move to end position to index one then when we reach the end position we are going to increase the index and set the new end position as path to go index which will be equal then to two until we reach the end of our list great now we will also need to get the animator so animator equals get component animator okay so what we can do to ensure that the animator is present on the game object let's add above our class 
require component attribute and let's type uh, type of so uh, usual brackets type of another brackets and animator so this will ensure that we have animator on our game object on our prefab let's slide it down and what we are going to do is call animator dot set trigger and we are going to call walk with capital w because we are going to add a walk parameter to our animator okay so this is it for the initialize method now we need to perform the movement so we are going to call update enter to create us the update if our move flag is true we are going to call perform movement we do not have this method so alt enter and generate it in our script let's slide down instead of throwing an, an exception in the perform movement we are going to check if our path to go so our our path that we want to travel dot count is greater than index this means that we still have some positions to reach so let's type float distance to go we are going to set it to equal to move the agent we do not have this method so alt enter and generate it it will return us the distance remaining to our next position if our distance to go is less than 0 0.05 we could expose this value so this is the stopping distance basically so if we if the distance to go is less than 0 0.05 f we are going to call index plus plus next if our index is still uh, is equal to path to go dot count so maybe equal or greater or greater or equal just to make sure that we do not exceed this limit we are going to pass move flag equals false and we are going to basically stop the agent and destroy our game object because it has reached the target and we are going to return else we are going to call end position equals our path to go of index index with index index so we are going to set a new end position great so this is it for our perform movement script now we have yet another method move to the agent that will move our agent and return the distance to the closest end position so let's slide it down great and what we are going to do is we are going to instead of throwing an exception calculate our float step equals our speed times time dot delta time so this is the distance our agent will move next we are going to call transform dot position equals vector 3 move towards so we are not going to use physics we are going to simply move our position we are going to call transform dot position so the current position we are on and position will be the target position and the step is the step we want to take every uh, every frame so that's why we have calculated the, the speed times time the delta time so we have we have calculated our step bar look direction so we want to make sure that our agent is facing this path that it has to walk equals our end position minus transform dot position so this is the direction we should look at next we are going to set transform dot rotation so we are going to set our rotation to match the direction our agent should look at so we want to type quaternion dot slurp to make it fluent the, the rotation between the current rotation and the desired rotation so we are going to slurp transform dot rotation so the current rotation and we are going to calculate quaternion so comma quaternion dot look rotation and we are going to pass here the look direction so our uh, vector forward that we want to achieve and we want to uh, call time dot delta time times the rotation speed to calculate the step for the rotation and at the end we will need to return the distance between our agent and the end root end position so we are going to return our vector 3 dot distance we are going to calculate the distance between the, our position so transform that position and the end position and that's it 
for the current implementation. And what we will want to do is call on destroy. And we are going to check if our on death, so our uh, delegate, our event is not equal to null. So if something is listening to our event on death, we are going to invoke it and we are going to use it later on when we implement a visualization for the path for the agent. So that's it for our agent. Great. So let's quickly pre-create our agents. So let's go back to Unity. Make sure you save the script. Great. We have in the prefabs folder our people who will be de facto our agents. So what we will need to do is, first of all, we will need to go to our models folder. Let's go to people. And we want to make sure that we have our animations imported. And we are going to use them in our animator. We are going to create a new folder in the assets. Create folder. Let's call it animations. And let's create here. Let's enter this folder. Let's create here new. Right click new. And we should choose the animator contro controller. Let's call it human animator. Great. Now what we are going to do is we are going to go to our prefabs people. Let's enter the first female casual and we are entering the prefab mode so we can modify this prefab. What we are going to do is make sure that we select the top game object in this hierarchy of this prefab. So female casual, add component and let's type AI agent. So this is our script and automatically it has added the animator. So we can make sure that uh, we choose the controller, make, uh, choose this cog icon, and we are going to choose the human animator. Great. And now we have our AI agent and the animator. So make sure that you have the animator open. So to open the animator window, you need to go to our window at the, in the top menu, then to our animations and choose the animator. And we have this animator here. So what we need to do is go to our models folder, to people, and drag our idle animations here, and drag our walk animation as well. Great. Of course, we will need to make sure that those, uh, this walk animation is set to a uh, loop. So let's choose the female casual model from the models, from people, and make sure that in animations, when we choose our walk animation, slide it down, loop time, and let's choose the loop time and apply. And now our animation should loop. Okay, so let's play. Great. So now let's focus on the animator and let's make sure that we drag a, a transition from our idle. If idle is not your default animation, right click on it and make a set as layer, uh, set as layer default state. Now let's right click on it, make transition to the walk and in the top left corner of animator, choose the parameters, add trigger, let's call it walk, so the same name that you gave in the scripts, and we are going to choose the transition by clicking on it. In the inspector, now let's slide to the conditions, let's add a condition walk, and let's uncheck the has exit time. And that's it for the setup for the animator. Make sure you choose, that you save the uh, Unity scene, and that should be it. So now what we need to do is make sure that we go to the prefabs, people, and let's open the second person female dress. We can add an AI agent and it should automatically add to us the animator. Let's choose the animator set to human animator and we can do the same for the remaining objects. Let's save the prefab, choose the male casual, add AI agent, choose the animator controller, and make, choose the male suit, save the uh, male casual in the male suit, and I again add the AI agent, add the human animator, and let's use the arrow underneath the hierarchy to save the prefab. Okay, this was a lot of preparations, but now we have our AI agent. In the next video, we will test what we can do so far with our AI agents. So, see you in the next video.